Good afternoon traders. Today is Tuesday and it's August the 14th. I really should not be doing a video right now uh, because I'm so close to being done with this test. I finish studying next week. So I'm just making the final arrangements before I take it. Um, I think I'm going to take it the first week of September. But I, we see the action in the NASDAQ. Uh, I think it was the last video or the video before I was hinting at a soft shoulder which I shorted and then I was accumulating uh, shares on the higher high. I'll show you what I was looking at real quick. Alright, so on that last video, we were looking for this short that brought us down to this 2600 to 2612 area. We bounced off that. We completed the higher low and now we're continuing to travel up breaking out of new resistance levels You see the Nasdaq's been a leader look at Google and Apple the last two days Google's up 30 points alone in two days it's major moves it's on increasing volume now they did report earnings you see when I look at Google what I see is analysts that miss it every single time if you go back and you look at all of the estimates they come out with from fact set they're always under. Now I know Google is a strong company and they generate a lot of income, but you got to be somewhat close to an estimate, not a point or two apart. So uh, we also see Apple moving up. Apple, the news, you know, there's a lot of rumors coming out with the iPhone 5. That's all going to cause this market to go up. But if you look at the entire spectrum, let me move over to the ES. This is what we're looking for right here. Now I know we've ran up far fast not only in the markets but also in the commodity markets uh, we have a severe drought going on right now look at the price of corn and soybeans and um, here's the ES and let me zoom out a little bit I think we're gonna retest this and make a higher high here I think that the momentum is in the trade and as long as we keep pushing through new levels we're gonna hit it now you know that I'm an intraday trader so I'm not gonna make a prediction here but to me it kind of feels like that they want to push it higher one last time before they maybe pull it back a little bit uh, look at gold and I traded the technical move in gold I thought it was gonna go to 1650 but we saw a sharp pullback today and I will switch to a little smaller time frame I was watching the 167070 level very closely. I got long on this day right here and I sold during this move right around 26 and it went up to 2970. And then after that we moved down, but I I got long the GLD calls and I made 53% on that trade. Just think about if you invested a million dollars in this trade and I know we're not talking about um, this is just hypothetical here a million dollars 53 percent that's five hundred and thirty thousand dollars so anyways after this move when they got back below 1670 1770 I wasn't watching the gold market uh, because they sold it off this morning otherwise I probably would have been involved in this but it was a nice move down uh, 1593 60 was a level that was hit and I want to show you something uh, look how good it got this level here. Let me pull up one of my studies. Okay, sorry, it's taking so long. All right, I was having a technical difficulty, but here's the level that we had. It was 1593.30, and we just hit 30 cents above that. So we moved back up to 1605.30, and we see it rolling over a little bit right now. Uh, take a look at crude still hovering above this ninety two dollar level as long as it stays above that we could continue to grind higher but I will note that when we pull up this crude it feels like we're getting a little toppy here to me and, you know we've also ran up huge in this even though we're down almost ten percent on the year still year to date um, it looks like it's getting a little toppy now we could hold above 92 and get that push back to 100. I don't know if it's going to come right now. It might take a little while, a few weeks or so. 
uh, to build back up just because it was so much buying power to get us there. And uh, let's, let's just look back at the NASDAQ because I might be taking this trade. All right, you see I wasn't watching it. For this trade right here, I'm going to get long now while I'm talking. All right, I got filled at 27.32.50. Uh, the max position on this would be 10 contracts. Let me show you what I was looking for, however. So looking at the chart from today, we had a little gap up right here. And you draw your low at the gap up, and you look at our other level that we have right below that. So what I'm looking for is either a push higher above the first high of the day or the first low of the day. And we had that push this morning. It wasn't on extreme high volume. So that's why we saw a little bit fade in here. Dollar strengthened up a little bit. Moved back down. This is my bread and butter trade right here. Watch your higher lows and your higher highs. Even though we've made another lower high, look at the overall trend. The market is strong right now. So I will take this trade all day. And my target's going to be 27.35 on this. And you want to buy it as close to this prior low as possible. A lot of times you won't get a move that low. You got lucky here when it went down to 29. And if I was watching it, I would have went aggressive and purchased at least 10 contracts at that level. Because I would have known that if we breach this level of this lower low, then I'd be out. And that's how you got to be disciplined. I'd be out of it and I'd be looking for something else. Now let me just show you one other scenario here because I don't have a lot of time to do these videos as I did before. If you're learning anything from this video, watch this technique right here because it really pays off. Say we put in this low and this candle right here came down and pierced that. What's going to happen is they're gonna stop everyone out that put their stop here. That's what the market makers are going to do. They're going to take their level three order entry and they're going to rook you on uh, the shares that you were trying to get long and then they're going to run it back up. And it would look something like this. Came down, rook you on your shares, pull back up. Once they put this little consolidation period right here, right? That's when you come in you draw your trend line or you have your short term moving average and you buy it on the breakout right and then your stop is right below this low that we're putting in this higher low and then you look for your higher move all right while while we're waiting on this trade to set up i'll put five contracts out there to sell just in case i'm not looking at it in time where it pops up there. Let me move back and I want to talk about the euro for a moment. Euro, US dollar pair. And as of lately, I've been trading Forex a lot more than anything else, and that's surprising for me. Look at the action in the overnight hours. That's where we're getting most action, and it's been like this for a few weeks now. Look at the London session. You see this big move, and then when we get into the New York session, it's just basically a chop fest. So if you are awake during these hours, you can net some pretty decent profits. Uh, Thursday, we have jobless claims, as we do every Thursday. Retail numbers came out today. Uh, they were a little better than expected. I've been watching Tiffany. Uh, moving up today, had some nice comments in the news. And let me pull that up on a daily chart. Yeah, Tiffany's looking good here. You see this gap right here that we're now above. We held above it. Remember, you draw your pivot line at the top of the gap. You want to see a confirmed close over this level. You got it here. Accumulation period. Look at the volume. It's still low. So if these buyers start coming back in, uh, they, they could fill, fill the gap pretty easily and get maybe back up to this high right here right around the sixty two dollar level uh, one of the main trades uh, another one is a uh, LinkedIn 
sorry, KD. This LinkedIn, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I missed the short right here. I've been watching it lately. They're up huge on the year. I mean, 61% year to date is a pretty impressive number. Here's the level that you need to draw on your charts it's 102.65, and that's the prior month's close. So, watch this level. If we get below it and the volume starts getting more aggressive, you could probably take a short, uh, but use your own risk adjustments accordingly. And the last one I'll show you is Abbott. All right, it looks like we're going to hold above this level. Uh, I might long another. I'll probably take another 10 contracts to the long side if we can pop around this uh, 75 and hold the bid. All right, here we go. Just got long a 75. Long 15 contracts now. Average 32 half. Put the 15 out there. At 35. That was the original target. And I actually took a short on this Abbott earlier. I only made 70 off it, but I wasn't even watching the trade. I had my stop in there and uh, I shorted it at 66.08. Stop was 14, never got hit, and I covered at 66.01 on this down move right here. So it was a pretty good trade, but long term, you know, we're in a pretty strong trend here. The reason I was watching it was take a look. I usually will not invest when you have a flat 9 or 10 period moving average on the daily time frame. I want to look for the breakout. I want to play the momentum move. So if we're going to hold above this level, you might be able to get a little more upside and eventually retest this high or at least trade the range to the upside. That level is 66.11 uh, so also put this level on your chart if you want to trade Abbott even if you're an intraday day trader you could use this level and look at the week this is how I got it it's last week's close as you see right here the reason these candles aren't red is because um, they're my proprietary candles right now I'm using this for a new strategy and it's been working pretty well for me as you could just briefly take a look and see you know when it's red you can stay short I'm using this average right now you know periodically I use different strategies and this just seems to be working for me at the moment back on this trade alright just got some 34's printing good alright I have Google pulled up real quick let's just start right here back in 2009 in Q4 and look at the estimates this is the estimate this is the actual number and look how far the estimates are off every single time it's usually an average of a point two points here only fifty cents here dollar eighty here and this last quarter another miss by the analysts and now we're net positive on the year on google we just got positive today and um, you know there could be a little selling coming in now since it was all the momentum traders riding this out here we go we got our quarter print this should be it right here halves come on two more ticks All right, I don't like this action taking place right here. It's a fight between the bulls and the bears. All right, I just put my order in. I'm gonna sell it early. I got full at 75. I just looked at the dollar and it could begin to bounce here right now. So going forward, I'm gonna be doing some more high quality videos and I'm going to try to teach you a little more of my techniques. Now the reason I'm getting my stockbroker's license is so I can open up a brokerage firm and I hope a lot of you will come over because it's gonna have all my techniques, all my proprietary indicators in there. It's gonna be good coaching, coaching sessions. I'll have a lot more time to do stuff when I'm generating income off of it. Um, 
but a lot you know it's not going to be expensive i'm going to be one of the cheapest in the industry i can guarantee you with your commission rates and everything so thanks for supporting me i hope you enjoyed the video and good luck trading